Hey guys, okay, so next up in my life skills series is home safety. So I have a bunch of um, just really simple home safety essentials that will be really good to teach your kids and you can do it in a way that won't freak them out. All very basic, uh, but really, really important. Okay, the first one is to assemble a first aid kit. So we actually have a central location, had already had one where, you know, there are band-aids and antiseptic and tea tree oil and what have you. Um, but then my daughter Violet did a first aid unit in Girl Scouts and she like went through and refreshed our supplies and made like a little box, an official box with a first aid kit sign on it. It was so awesome. So I'll actually link up um, in the recap post for this video um, or you can search bostonmamas.com and just search life skills. Um, but there's a great post from REI that I have linked up in that blog post, um, which I like because instead of being this huge exhausting list, um, it, it breaks it into like first aid basics, which is what our kit includes, and then like leveling up different other buckets of first aid supplies. So definitely check out that post if you're not sure what to include in your kit. Second, lock the windows and doors. It is like crazy to me how much I hear people complain or just like report um, theft, whether it's home or auto, and then it turns out like the doors were unlocked. So just get into a rhythm and a routine. What we do is at the end of the night, once everybody is home for the night, uh, we just do a walk around as we're snapping off lights and we check all the doors and windows to make sure everything is locked up. Okay, third, stow an emergency house key. So like when I was a kid in the 70s, we literally hid a key under the mat. Don't do that. Um, so, you know, whether you've got like a little lock box or a fake rock or whatever, um, land on the location of your emergency kit key with your kids, teach them where it is and tell them not to tell other people where it is. Okay, four, check stove burners. So I have to admit I'm a little OCD about this now because um, a little while back I was walking through the kitchen and smelled gas and it turned out that there was like a stove burner just like slightly on. Um, freaked out. So whoever is old enough and capable to use the kitchen, um, teach, and actually Violet doesn't use the stove, my eight year old, but we've taught her like all those knobs should be like in this position to be off. Teach everybody about how important it is that those stove burners be off. Okay, five related. Um, teach your kids where the smoke and carbon monoxide detectors in your house are and um, like what the chirping means, <laughs> like how to go look for one if a battery needs to re be replaced, teach them how to replace the batteries. Um, those are actually kind of like uh, fun projects for kids. My kids love like either changing batteries or using the little tester kit to like test whether the batteries still have charge. Okay, six, use a fire extinguisher. Just identify a central location for it, test it out with your kids. Um, really, really simple. Now, seven is to learn key phone numbers and it is crazy how much because of like program phone numbers and whatever, like how few numbers I actually know by heart. Um, but the one thing that we've made sure our kids know is um, my husband and my phone numbers and then we've taught them about 911, which is obviously just for emergency, but teach them those key phone numbers. Okay. And then the last two are kind of neighborhood oriented, but number eight is to establish a family meeting spot. So like when your kids do fire drills at school, there's like a designated spot where the class goes that's away from the building, but near the building. Do the same thing with um, your home and identify a nearby spot that is like not right next to your house, say if it's on fire, God forbid, or something, um, so that you know where to meet up in the event of an emergency. And then finally, this might at first feel a little bit like, what, this is a home safety tip, but my last recommendation is to meet your neighbors. So we have lived in a variety of places and it's kind of amazing to me how until our current home, like the neighbors barely knew each other. You only met each other when you were all shoveling in the winter. And it was just like, there wasn't any sense of community. Now we're in a neighborhood where everybody pretty much knows each other and um you know we know everybody in all the houses around us and it builds a safer community like i have no doubt and we have we've watched out for each other you know one time we reported something suspicious when we saw it happening because we were tuned into our neighbor and we cared about that person so you know meet your neighbors and actually uh, kind of a twofer is that you know if you it's really important to loop your kids into that and to have them know who's 
who are the neighbors around you. Um, not only for their safety, they'll have other people looking out for them. Um, they'll be, they'll know who other people are and it'll help them, you know, give them a little practice with social skills with other human beings. So, um, those are my nine recommendations for really simple home safety tips you can teach your kids. If you want the sort of written recap, including that REI first aid link that I mentioned, go to um, bostonmoms.com and just search life skills and you will find a whole slew of life skills. Uh, actually, you could do home safety life skills and you'll find it. So until next time, um, and let me know if you tackle one of these things and how it goes, I'd love to hear it.